okay let's do problem 4.14 of fox mcdonald we have a velocity field equal to 2xi plus 2yj plus k okay so u equal to 2x v equal to 2y w equal to 1 write a vector expression for an element of the shaded area evaluate the integrals v dot da so there's an arrow missing probably a typo and in evaluate the integral v v dot da so the first one is the volume flux and the second one is momentum flux for unit mass for unit density rather okay so let's see if i look at the z axis facing towards me so this is the cross section that we see okay, it's this particular face when seen from this direction and so this is 3 and so this is equal to 4 and the length in the z direction is equal to 5 which is constant ok so if we draw a normal like this so this angle if it is theta this angle will be theta ok so for the normal vector is it will be sin theta i plus cos theta j ok and we know from trigonometry that the length of the hypotenuse for this triangle will be equal to 5 so cos theta is equal to 3 by 5 and sin theta is equal to 4 by 5 so n vector is equal to 4 by 5 i plus 3 by 5 j ok so what will be d a equal to ok so now clearly the area has no unit vector in the k component in the k z direction so d a will be equal to d z multiplied by d l where d l is this segment ok so this is d l and d z will be this ok as simple as that so integral of this from the z limits and integral over the l limits now because there are there is no variation along the y then along the z direction this is also equal to 5 multiplied by integral dl okay but now look dl square can be written as dx square plus dy square ok at any location dl equal to dx plus dy so this is dl this is dx and this is dy so dl square equal to dx square plus dy square which is equal to dx square root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square now the equation of this line is y equal to 4 minus 4 by 3 x please verify this ok therefore dy dx is equal to minus 4 by 3 thus this is equal to dx square root of 1 plus 4 square by 3 square is equal to dx multiplied by 5 by 3 ok so 
actually this is the square root of this I have written the square root of this so dl is equal to 5 by 3 dx so the unit so the, the element here the area element if we consider this entire strip because we have already integrated over the z direction this area of strip is equal to 5 into dx into 5 by 3 so this is 25 by 3 dx with a unit vector n given by this solution okay so what is integral v dot da this is as good as integral v dot n da is equal to so now look v dot n what is v dot n let's first write down so we saw that v has components 2x 2y and 1 and the n has components 4 by 5 3 by 5 and 0 so this yields v dot n is equal to 8x by 5 6y by 5 and 0 ok ah, this should be plus because it is a dot product so you have to sum all these terms so we have 8x by 5 plus 6y by 5 ok so integral v dot n da is equal to integral 8x plus 6y by 5 multiplied by 25 by 3 dx where now x simply varies from 0 to 3 ok so this is equal to 5 by 3 integral 8x dx plus 5 by 3 integral 6y dx so this is equal to 5 by 3 to 8 to 3 square by 2 plus 5 by 3 into 6 into so integral y dx ok integral y dx will be 4x minus 2x square by 3 so 4 into 3 minus 2 into 3 square by 3 so this is equal to what 20, 20 60 plus 10 multiplied by so this, this is 6 this is 12 6 16 so this is equal to 120 ok so now we have to find integral v v dot n ta so now this will be simply a vector term so we already found out that v dot n is equal to so let's write this down so this is equal to 4 by 5 oh sorry no, not 4 by 5 this will be what is it 2x plus 2y plus 1 2x i plus 2y j plus 1k times v dot n which is equal to 8x plus 6y by 5 multiplied by da which is equal to 25 by 3 dx 0 to 3 so this will have 3 components the i component will be integral 0 to 3 2x 8x plus 6y by 5 25 by 3 dx plus the j component will be integral 0 to 3 2y 8x plus 6y by 5 25 by 3 dx and the k component will be 
एट एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई बाई फाइव टू लाइट बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई थ्री डी एक्स वेर द वाई हैज टू बी अप्रोप्रिएटली रिटर्न एज फोर माइनस फोर बाई थ्री एक्स ओके इंटरेस्टिंगली दिस इक्वेशन गिवस थ्री वाई प्लस फोर एक्स equal to 4 which implies 6x rather which implies 8x plus 6y is equal to 8 so you can easily make use of this information in simplifying all the expressions which I leave as a homework to you 